Welcome. This is Radwin technical guideline video for Radwin 2000 users. With a global presence in over 100 countries, Radwin delivers backhaul and wireless broadband access solutions in the sub 6 gigahertz space, empowering carriers with the ability to connect subscribers anytime, anywhere. Radwin's point-to-point -point wireless broadband solutions deliver carrier class performance at the most competitive price. It supports variety of frequencies from 2.4 and 4.8 to 6.0 gigahertz, delivering high capacity connectivity within a range of 120 kilometers. It provides native TDM and Ethernet over a single wireless link. It is up to 200 Mbps full net throughput. It supports advanced MIMO and OFDM technologies. It has inbuilt spectrum analyzer. It is cost effective, highly robust, and extremely simple to install and maintain. It is up and running in less than an hour. This video will demonstrate the processes of installation of products at site, making connection and process of link installation. Let's first review the key components of Radwin 2000. It has indoor unit IDU and outdoor unit ODU with an integrated antenna or connectorized external antenna for each side of the link. The link is managed via Radwin Manager application or Telnet. Let's look at the ODU. The ODU box contains ODU, the mounting clamp and a CD. ODU is the radio transceiver and is the main component of the system. It connects to an antenna that enables radio communication and can be mounted on a pole or wall. The ODU comes in two configurations, with integrated antenna and connectorized to use with external antenna. Let's look at IDU. The IDU has TDM and Ethernet ports that connect to the link on both sides. It is available in two configurations. First is IDU-C with E1 plus Ethernet ports that has two Ethernet ports and four to 16 E1 interfaces. Second is IDU-C with only Ethernet ports. The engineer must have proper tools for doing the product installation. Ensure that the toolbox has the following items. Laptop, latest version of Radwin Manager application, patch cord, Insert the Radwin Manager CD and install the Radwin Manager on the desktop. While installing the Radwin products, following precautions should be taken. The outdoor units and antennas installations should be done by licensed and authorized professionals who are familiar with local building and safety codes. The installation by untrained personnel may result in financial and legal liabilities for the end user. The technician should remove jewelry or other metallic objects before working on equipments connected to power or telecom lines. Extreme precautions should be taken while installing antennas near power lines and when working at heights. We recommend the use of AC power adapter supplied by Radwin whenever using an AC power source. Now let's see the process of hardware installation. The link operates in pairs of two ODUs and IDUs with the same configuration. Both ODUs and IDUs must be installed at the two sites, Site A and Site B. Use a compass to detect the direction of the other site and direct the antenna accordingly. Mount the ODU onto the pole or wall using the supplied mounting kit. Ensure that the unit is oriented so that the cable connectors are at the bottom. If they are on top, water may penetrate into the unit, causing damage. Now follow the process of grounding. All Radwin products should be grounded during operation. There is a dedicated nut or lugs available in IDU and ODU for this purpose which must be properly grounded before powering up the system. If you are using ODU with external antenna 
follow the mounting instructions supplied with the product. The RF cables between ODU and antenna should be properly crimped, terminated, and weatherproofed after alignment. Let's understand the process of making connections between ODU and IDU. Connect the IDU and ODU through CAT5E outdoor cable. Use shielded connectors at both ends. Maximum 100 meters cable length is recommended between IDU and ODU. We recommend using Radwin cables or equivalent high quality shielded cables. Prepare the cable as per the standard color coding mentioned in user manual. Insert the cable gland first before crimping the connector as shown in the video. At ODU, attach the ODU-IDU cable to the connector marked as IDU. Make a loop on the cable close to ODU to avoid stress on the connector. Tighten cable gland properly to ensure hermetic sealing of the ODU. Secure the cables to the pole, mast or brackets using UV rated cable ties and make a drip loop of the cable at the entrance of the building or shelter as shown in the video to avoid seepage of rainwater into the IDU. Secure the cable properly along the cable tray. Repeat the same process of hardware installation and connection process at Site B. The next step is powering up the system and checking the LED status. It takes around 35 to 40 seconds. For normal conditions, IDU and ODU should be green. Direct Site B antenna in the direction of Site A. Based on the RF survey, make an azimuth sweep of 180 degrees with the Site A ODU to detect the strongest signal from Site B.